because it's been times I had to record a whole interview and like shit wasn't recording, like shit wasn't just working. I am. I waste the whole interviews. <laughs> And it's like, do you tell a nigga to a face like, yeah, like I fucked up? Or yeah, like, like that's, the nigga gonna be mad and shit. Like that is wasted a whole hour, bro. Like, I just, that's why I just be like, yeah, yo, thank you, thank you for coming by. I don't even say nothing. <laughs> yeah, really? They're like, well, why your shit ain't never come out? I'm like, then that's when I'm like, I need to change that though. I need to be upfront, <laughs> telling niggas straight up. <laughs> cause I be knowing it. Shit, I do the same shit though, bro. Like fuck that shit, bro. It's like damn, cause then a nigga really gonna be overly mad. Like I had him. But um, welcome back to the show. Another week, the number one podcast on the Izzard, the twenty million dollar podcast, and this is another week, another banger. And I'm sitting with somebody very excited to talk to, digging this brain a little bit. I'm talking to the biggest grandma. Y'all know what it is, man. Um, I'm, in this I'm sorry, bitch. I would have locked in with you, my hands sweat. <laughs> this bitch, you know what it is, man. Ready to drop another banger? Come yes, on, we are. Huh? What the fuck is a grim? What is the name? All right, pretty much, bro. I'm gonna tell it to you like this, like. I'm a tight nigga. Uh-huh. I'm an ass eater, bro. So like, yeah, I, bro. I'm, I'm a just be a hundred. I'm an ass eater, bro. So like, my man's he started calling me Gremlin, but then like he just started shortening it for Grim, and then I just been running with it since. Like I fucked with the name, so I was just like, and you fuck got it. it from ass eating? Yeah. Wow, that's too many asses to eat. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> out here calling you Grim. How many asses did that qualify? Like, is that is it the same ass that we talking about here? <laughs> you was uh, eating, I was just eating different asses. Hey, man. You know, you got, you know, it's levels to this shit for real. You gotta be a real deal gremlin to get that name for real. Nigga, you should have told me that in the DM when I first hit you up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we can do this shit over FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I, I don't know what, I don't know what. So that's, so how long have you been rocking with that name? What, how, uh, you know, I was just talking about this the other day. I've been rocking with this name for prior. Yeah, I don't even think it's been a year yet. I probably, I probably really started running with it like January of this year. So like. Cause like it was, I used it on my Instagram for real, but I never really like ran with it. And then like I really started locking in with the content, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna need a name to run with. So I'm mm. like, shit, this hard. Grim, <laughs> that's crazy, man. I thought you were gonna say like, yeah, my middle name is like Grim Dog or something. Nah. I don't know. That's sick. So Kodak Black was talking about you. He, he said he, he was eating fake perks, fake booties. Fake booties, real booties, small booties, big, whatever. So you was dead serious when you said don't let her poop at the crib? Because you'd be eating ass. You would need it. You would need it later. Yeah, you feel me? I don't, <laughs> it's, bro, it's like, bro, how would you feel if a girl really came to your house, really took a dump in your shit, and really left that motherfucker humming? I would take it personal. Yeah, you I would feel take like, it personal. damn, like, you can do that? You can. Yeah. That shit crazy. But my girl be farting and my girl be farting. I'll be like, girl. I mean, all right, see now when that's, that's your that's, girl, bro, it's no, cool. No, like, it's, no, it's not cool. You still don't like that shit? I'll be like, you got one more two. Yeah, it's going to be on the street. Damn, you see? I thought I was the only strict one, bro. They be trying to say we strict for that, bro. It's just as a woman, we hold y'all the highest standard. Exactly. You feel me? So all that farting and I, I say coughing too. You cough, you, <laughs> you Nah. It depends on how you cough. You got a little cute little. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? But if you really. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, like. Clearing your throat, uh, 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 uh. we ain't yeah, doing that. No. Fuck. So what? What type of? What, what's your type? What type of ass you eating here? Are we talking about like over east, like dark skin, like the black ass knees and elbows? Like, you know, bro. I'm I'm not really like I'm not really like picky on skin color for real. black women only. So that let's just put that out there. I like black women and black women only. Okay. You feel not not discriminate. You know, everybody else is beautiful, but I just, we got we got preference. You feel me? I can't get away from my sisters, but me either. You feel me? I just like a pretty woman with a good personality, bro. Mm. And she gotta be a freak. Like it, it shouldn't a be freak. that hard. Yeah, it, it, but yeah, you're right. Like it shouldn't be that hard, especially into in today's society. Like, bitch, you learned all that on TikTok. You a freak. You a hoe. If you look at it, if you, you I can tell a hoe off by off a of, uh, TikTok algorithm Yo, for you. TikTok, pay. Twitter, Instagram, whatever, bro. <laughs> Anything. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always like that, bro. Like you will be talking to a girl, mm-hmm. and like she'll say one thing. That just throw the whole everything off. Now she can't get cuffed. Now she's strictly a mission. She gotta mm. get fucked, and that's it. Damn, bro. Shit be phony, like that shit. That shit really phony. It's like I be saying to my man's every day, like, damn, bro, these really the women we got marry. Yes, like, it is. No way. You gonna have to go to the crook, 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 nooks and crannies of a mill for mill to find a good girl. Real shit. In that small little block right Real there. Shit. Real <laughs> shit. Cause you you trying to find love in Baltimore City. Oh, no. no, for like if I told you I met Shorty, like yeah, I met at Mondomin at the station. <laughs> <laughs> at 
at the station at the subway up down to John Hopkins. Yeah, I ain't feeling that. She got on at Lexington. Oh no, 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 no! She got on the subway at Lexington. Yeah, buddy. No, that's a that's a red flag right there by itself. Bro, her getting on the subway at Lexington is already a red flag. <laughs> it ain't even a problem with her getting on the subway, but why are you getting on at Lexington as a woman? That's crazy. Mm, mm, that's mm, really mm. crazy, bro. See, I knew I found the gym when she was like, she was like, I mean, she could be lying to me, but she was like, she was like, yeah, I never, I never really got on the subway. I don't know what it's. That's a, that's a gym. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, okay, that's cool. But she might be lying. Yeah, probably, you never. But, Bro, you would never really know. No, for real, you will never really know until no, like forty really years. Till it's forty years later, and that bitch just was like, "Oh, you never, you never got me off anyway." <sighs> Crush you. That's that's the only way you are gonna find out for real, because these holes are fake. But we're not here to talk about holes. We are here to talk about the big grim. The biggest. The biggest grim. The biggest. The biggest one and only menace, grimace, whatever you want to call me. How how would you describe your content? <sighs> that's a good question, bro. I just feel like. My content is just strictly me, based off just me being me. Like, bro, this is really how I just do my videos. Like, I just get up with well, my memory ass. So, like, if I'm thinking about something, I'm, I got to write it down in my notes because my memory really ass. But, yeah, bro, like, whatever I'm thinking about at the moment or, like, uh, whatever topic I feel like speaking on, I just get on a, get on TikTok, get on Instagram and just speak my mind for real. That's all it is. Like, yeah. it could be about bitches, like, niggas, whatever. Like, anything that's going on in the world, I'm going to speak about it for real because... I don't know, like, since I was younger, I was just always one of them people to just speak their mind. I didn't <laughs> give a fuck for real. No, for real. That You can kind of tell that you was one of them, you was one of them yeah, kids growing like, up. Yeah, I don't really be can. Like, I'm going to just say whatever. Where, where are you from? Baltimore. Over West. Over West. Where? where? Well, uh, so it's really like, it ain't really like no hood. It's like a, well, it is the hood, but it's like, you know, like, where, uh, like, LBG and them from? Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. yeah, I grew up like right across the street from real. Okay. Like the avenue okay. right around the corner. So like, Okay. You okay. Feel? Right across the street from Booker T. That's over west. That's yeah. over west. Yeah, That's yeah. solid. Um how um, what, what what high school did you go to? Uh, I went to Dunbar my first two, then I transferred out to county. Went to this bullshit ass school called Chesapeake, man. Chesapeake? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Shit out Essex. Essex? <laughs> exactly. It's high schools out there? What is out there? Nothing, bro. <laughs> Just fucking long ass roads and royal farms. You go on Essex, bro, you're going to see about 80 Royal Farms. I'm telling you, real shit. Damn. Real shit. Essex, bro, is nothing out there. Like, the county really, I mean, the county cool. Now, I will say the difference between the county and the city schools, now that I got the best of both worlds for real, the mm-hmm. county definitely take care of you better than the city schools. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. For sure. Like, city, they don't, they don't give, give a, a fuck. fuck you. They don't give a fuck. Like, the county really going to try and make sure you graduate on time, bro. No, for real. They really going to help you get your grades up, all type of shit. In the city though, what's your worst city experience? We go what one bad experience. What's your, what's your worst one? <laughs> Going to school in the city, or like just Baltimore period? No, let's just broaden it. Baltimore City, your worst Baltimore City. Like, what do you like? I mean, cause you know a lot of people saying Baltimore City is like trash. And, like, no, I f- bro, I, bro, I, I I love the city though, bro. Like, it, it's crazy, but I love it, bro. Like, I do too, yeah. Like, I feel like we got the best accent, the best food. Uh, we got the best glakes, even though. You know they a little hot right now. If you know, you know. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm but not gonna know. But yeah, my worst Baltimore City experience. I don't know, bro. It probably was getting banked when I was younger. Damn, getting banked is never fun. Yeah, bro. I was. I, I had my football for real. The niggas. They was like, I don't want to call them no bullies, but like they was so deep. So it was like, bro, it wasn't. Dumb LBG niggas, like, when we was younger, for real, like, the, it was the older ones, like, they used to come over there and fuck with niggas, for real, they tried to tell me, throw it on my ball, I didn't throw it on my ball, niggas straight ran out and stole me, my man's ran in the house, I'm damn. like, damn, you didn't, you didn't even get banked for a justified reason, yeah, that's crazy, you're, that's a, you're a victim, yeah, <sighs> niggas crazy, bro, that shit, be. if they was looking at this interview right now, one of them niggas that banked you, what would you say to him? I ain't got nothing to say, bro. I just hope you're doing well in life. Like, what the fuck? That, I was 10 years old, bro. That shit was 10 years ago. All right, fuck that shit. That shit ain't yeah. nothing. Yeah, a lot of, you'd be surprised. A lot of niggas will, will, will have have yeah, an answer to this that, day. That'd be, that'd be a lot of niggas. Probably niggas got bitch years ago. Now niggas want to kill shit. Like, shit be all over the place, bro. Bruh. But, but like, but like, I be telling my mans and shit, bro. Like, you can't even say a nigga a bluffing nigga nowadays. These niggas not playing. They not playing. These y'all niggas is serious, bro. They serious. We switch you down, bro. Bruh, like, it's been hot as shit. 
they I still be seeing the Under Armour sweatsuit hoodie with the ski mask. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you know the whole bit was like a raincoat and the pants. I still be seeing that, and it be hot as hell. Yeah, they don't play, dumb. Like I'm telling you, like these young niggas is crazy. That's why, I like, I'm glad I do content. Like they be fucking with me for real, so that don't be you feel me. They see me. What's up, yo? You get to yeah. walk past. Yeah, okay. uh, all that. Uh, I'm not no street nigga, boy. I'm not even. I be telling niggas, bro. I'm not no street nigga, bro. Nigga be, niggas be trying to be so hard. Talking about, yeah, bro. I'm not ratting on my man's. If my man's did something. And and it's up and it's up to me, and I'm about to get 25 years. I'm not. I'm snitching with you, bro. No, for real. I'm not doing that time. The <laughs> fuck, bro? What? I'm I'm not no street nigga, bro. I don't live by no code, bro. I will rat on you. That's it's, the, it's, the, it's just how it is. Real shit, like, mm-mm. bro. 25 years. 25. And if you really my man, you wouldn't even allow me to do, do that time for you. For real. Like, that's crazy. Like, that's, that's crazy. That's ill as shit, bro. I'm not. Mm-mm. You'd be Niggas surprised. Be like, no, yo, you a rat. I'm not hanging with you. Don't. No, don't. for real. Don't hang with me. Don't. Don't do nothing dumb because I will snitch. We get booked. I'm coming home that same night. Shit did. No, no handcuffs. You're not going to be handcuffed. I'm fucking around on real shit. Right? I, probably, I probably don't even get. I probably get to the station, be out in 20 minutes. <laughs> real shit. Damn, you going to be. I can see the screenshot of you showing that phone. Like, this is his grand, real, right? Here. Real shit. Like, bro, uh. Shit, bro. They bring me the nice America's best meal with the with the five honey old bay wings, the mm. cheese steak with the provolone, ketchup, mayonnaise, and lettuce. Mm. With the fries. Chill, dumb. I ain't eat, I ain't eat today yet. And chill, a sprite. Chill, 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 chill. I ain't eat today. Yeah, I'm ratting. I'm giving it all up. That's crazy. I Actually, you saw you saw what uh what happened with Diddy. Yes, he he a he thousand he bottles. Up. A baby oil. I ain't know it was a thousand. A thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant, bro. In the crib? Yes. <laughs> and that's only, I think that's like, I don't even know if it was just one crib, but it probably was multiple houses. But that stock is going down. Nobody buying that stock right now. <sighs> Nobody. Baby oil, though, like, Diddy really was a bad man. Like, like if, if they didn't do no investigation, nothing prior, and they just found that alone. Yeah. That's <laughs> tell you everything you need to know, bro. Like. He was slipping and sliding, bro. Real shit, like right. that's crazy, bro. Like, but since they ex- since they exposed Diddy, though, like, how niggas really get exposed now? Like, oh they, yeah, like, that that indictment really gets something serious. They like, said they just said that he they just found out that he wasn't working alone. Real shit, Jay Z. <sighs> that nigga Diddy ain't coming home. He you don't think not, he not? He ain't, he ain't coming home. Fuck no, yeah. hell no. That yeah. nigga not coming home. Man. They wrapped his ass up. Real shit. They had his ass wrapped up. They, that's crazy. I don't know. I, like how? Like how much? How freaky you gotta be to get locked up for that shit? Yeah. <laughs> like that's not even like. It's like, not even just like you was picking like, up hoes from the club. It's like, bro. Like the no Diddy jokes was funny at first, <laughs> but now they really overly funny now because like what, bro? Really no Diddy because baby oil, a thousand bottles, bro. You ain't even had five, ten. You had a thousand. Like that's Yo, crazy. That's bro. not for personal use. Where do you buy? Like he had to get a shipment. Had to. He had to call. He had to call Johnson and Johnson themselves personally. Like, <laughs> personally, you're not doing that no from no Walmart.com. Fuck, man. We don't even. We don't even. We can't even. Us as niggas in Baltimore can't even think about buying that much shit to begin with. Real shit. Real <laughs> shit. Real shit. I buy my. I buy my deodorant one bit at a time. Yo, I swear to <laughs> man. When that motherfucker run out, all right. On to the next. Like, shit. Shit be rough out here, bro. Right, they be, they waxing on everything. Deodorant high. I go to mm. Walmart, get some lotion, lotion like 15, 20 mm. a bottle. God. You damn. ain't start going to the flea market? I've been going to the flea market. I haven't been in a minute. I'm really start though, bro. Boy, I get my white I don't get my white tees from there sometimes. They be a little fuck. They be a little real cheap. Shit. But I be, I get if you go to the right place, they actually got the real soap. You gotta go to the right place. Mm-hmm. Cause you go to the wrong place, they got the fake dove soap. Oh no. Nah. But yeah, come you come out that shower, bumps all over your body, real shit. You got rashes all on your stomach, all type of shit. Uh-uh. That's was that's what's good for girls, cause I would have never known that if Shorty would have never said that. I would have just went up there two dollars, <laughs> <laughs> shit, whatever cheap, I'll take it. Everything, bro, everything really high as a bitch now, like, and I don't like that, bro, cause when I was younger, shit was cheap as a bitch. What you go to the corner store, bro? You go to the corner store with five dollars back in the day. Mm. What you bro, you come out there with hella shit. You get a whole meal and some for tomorrow. Real, real <laughs> shit. Real shit, bro. Alright, so now I'm gonna ask you, bro. 
I'm going to give you, you got a dollar and 50 cents. Uh-huh. You got to go to the corner store. What you getting? Back in the day? Back dollar in the day. 50 cent? What you getting? I'm getting two, I'm cent. getting two bags of fruities, 25 cents. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, they was 20. Okay, so that's 50 cent right there. Gone. <sighs> then I'm going to get the 50 bag, the 50 cent bag of chips. What kind? Barbecue. I ain't feeling that, bro. What? But I, 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 I'll, I'll let it slide, bro. What I'll you a hot it. Cheeto, nigga? No. Nah. What you taki? I'm a Dorito, nigga, bro. <laughs> That's yeah, cool. that's cool. I, I could. I'm, I could, a, I'm a Dorito. I'll be Dorito in sometime. I'll be Dorito. Yeah, in. bro. But yeah, then that last fifty cent, I even get a get a get a little juice. I save it for my next run. Okay, okay. One fifty. You know I gotta grab the greatest snack of all time: oatmeal cream pie. Mm. Mm. That's fifty cent right there. Boom. That's fifty cent gone. Now I got a whole nother. Hold on, I. I got a dollar left. All right, so I'm gonna get a can of soda as well. I think I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a strawberry can soda. <laughs> Them bitches used to be on the money. But it tastes different. Any nigga who used to drink cream soda, you probably locked up right now. Mm. Honestly. You, you used to drink cream soda, you probably locked up right now. Mm, I was close to being like that. So I, I, I'm like. Yeah, that, I can't fuck with that cream I soda. I slipped through bro. the crack. Be, then for my last 50 cent, damn, that's only two items. For real, for real. That's two. That's two items. That's what I'm saying. You like, yeah, bro, I, I was playing, bro. Like I saw all I needed. I was, I was ready. I was trying to play. Like, so like <laughs> Ashley, yeah, I'm gonna do what you. I'm gonna just get two bags of fruities. Boom, Boom. just like that. Cause well, the fruity, we got yeah, I love them for twenty five cents. Bro, big like a half a zip. Big ass bag, <laughs> real shit, like real shit. Bro, that's that's the whole clan good, whole gang good. What? Everybody getting two like three four pieces. <laughs> I don't know. I, I was stingy. I ain't giving yeah, none yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying. No, but I definitely want to shout. I was stingy. I, I, I give might a give y'all one or two. Yeah, I give a nigga one. Yeah, my man's. I give him two. Yeah, you feel me? Like all that? Nah. Mm-hmm. Especially not the red ones. Though. I'm like, I'm not giving you nah, the red the ones. blue ones. The blue ones and the red ones. Blue yeah. ones. Yeah. Nah. Anything green though and red? Yeah, you can have it. I don't, I don't like cherry and green apple. That shit be. Mm, that's all right. Like it's like it's like, it's like it's you got. If it's yeah, at the end of the like, bag, like you got to get. Yeah, you know, just throw it down. I don't fuck with that shit, bro. Damn, we have good, good memories. Real I need a time machine. Yo, if I could just go back to 2016. Uh, honestly, though, like, you know, people be stuck on 2016, but I feel like 2020 and 2022 was a better year than 2016. Oh, yeah. Like, 2020 was a good year, bro. COVID happened. Shit was good. Like Shit was lit. Shit, bro, shit, shit was, was lit. lit. Like, I was broke, but shit was <laughs> lit. Like It was definitely shit lit. Was, niggas was in the house. All niggas do was play the game. I feel like everybody was getting closer too, cause all we had was time. Yeah. So we just on social media. Niggas was like, I'm talking about. I was on Zoom, Zoom calls with my friends, watching movies. All Damn, type, that's hard. All type of shit. I don't got that many friends. We was sitting in the house, bro. We can't really. And then my mother, she used to be on some bullshit. So she ain't really used to let a nigga go outside. When COVID first hit, bro, I couldn't go outside. <laughs> Hell yeah. I go outside, bro. She let me go outside for like two hours. I got to come right back in. Damn. She what she can was, you do in two hours? That's like one hoop game. She wasn't even playing, bro. Real shit, bro. That's like a, a game or two. <sighs> Almost. Real shit. My mama not arguing the whole damn time. My mama wasn't playing that, bro. Damn. You got a strict mother? I would, bro. I, I, I wouldn't even say my mother was strict, bro. She just... She just knew, like, like now that I'm older, bro, like, I'm saying everything, like, everything she was saying was some real shit. Mm. Like, you really get older, like, and, like, I moved out at 19. I'm 20. I'll be 21 in November. So, it's like, once I moved out, I really saw everything she was saying, bro, like, every, like, like all that, like, with the, the air being on, cutting the lights off, running the water, like, all that, bro, <laughs> that shit adds the fuck up, bro. When people come to my house, turn my lights off. Don't, what do we having lights on? My brother, he be geeking, bro. I pay the BG and E bill. Damn. Right? Cause so like we go half and half on everything, but I I get BG and E, he get the Wi Fi, bit by bit or whatever. Mm-hmm. Bro, this I come in the house, nigga got the A on fifty five. Fifty five? The fuck? What you going? Real shit. Only meth can make you that hot, nigga. <laughs> bro, huh? Like what? I come in, I'm like, bro, what you doing? Like, bro, I, I, I give you some money. Y'all you gonna pay this bill. Ain't no, that's bro. crazy. Yeah, you, your bro. ball your ball's bigger than mine. I ain't paying no BG and E bill yet. <laughs> I'm that, keeping a hundred. That shit, man. I'm 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 running away from that shit. I'm I'm my parents about to kick me out. Yeah, that's how, yeah. No that's how it be. That shit be. But yeah, I wouldn't say my mother was strict though. She was just she didn't play for real. Like you mm. like you knew to not play with her and you knew to respect her. Like and like she wasn't even trying to be mean to you enough. She was just telling you some real shit. It's like that's why I'm like a lot of people would say like I come off rude or like hella blunt. I get that shit from my mother for real. Cause like she'll just tell you how it is. Like 
That's what we need more, bro. All that sugar coat and shit. We don't need that, bro. You need to tell them motherfuckers straight up how it is, like. No, for real. Because then if you don't tell them how it is, then that's like you blowing air up their ass. Yeah, real shit. And that's real a that's shit. a that's that's a probably the most real uh, an analogy I can ever ever yeah, heard. Yeah, bro. You you just gotta tell them motherfucker really how it is, bro. Like. And then, like, in this, especially in this generation with TikTok and social media and, and propaganda and shit, it's a whole bunch of air being blown up our ass every day we pick up our phones. Yeah, bro. It's like social media really frying niggas' brains, bro. Like, that shit, like, niggas be saying it, but that shit really real. Like, people, like, people really will think they failed life at 20 just because they see a motherfucker on social media got hella brick. Like, bro, you're 20. That's crazy. You're 20, bro. That's Your crazy. life just started, bro. And I be saying that to myself all the time. Be, like I be a little hard on myself. Like that's mm-hmm. what I, I'm. I'm definitely very hard on myself. That's cause I, that's cause I know what I'm capable of, mm-hmm. and I know what the fuck I can do. So it's like I be hard on myself, but I be forgetting, bro. I'm young as shit. I got hella time. I'm not even 25. Mm-hmm. Like exactly. what? Got hella time, bro. You just gotta be patient and just keep working, bro. That shit gonna work out in your favor. No, for real. Bro. You just gotta stay patient, stay with God. You be good, bro. Real shit. That's all you need, honestly. You Real don't need shit. nothing else. Real shit. I don't even like that's you. I don't even got no advice, no shit. You just said it. That's what you need to do for real. Real shit, bro. If you don't believe in God, nigga, and you believe in you believe in yourself, and you don't believe in God, type shit. Yeah, bro. Like that's that, that's what I was doing. Like that's I I I just started getting closer to God like a couple months for real, and I'm really like proud of myself for real, cause like I was just out here lost for real, bro. I'm just out here. It's like I needed some guidance for real. Bro, you was bro. eating a lot of ass. Yeah, <laughs> like that's and crazy. then I, bro, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna t- tell you, I'm gonna tell you a little story, bro. I started really getting closer because, like, me and my homegirl, we be fucking with the shrooms. Mm. So we did the shrooms, watched the Exorcist off that shit, mm. nigga. I was scared. You got your shit together, huh? <laughs> <laughs> bro. I've been praying every day since. I swear to God, bro. That shit is them shrooms. But nothing for to real. They nothing to play nothing with. To, you did them before? Yeah, I got a video of me running in the field. Like it was like the sun was setting. And I'm just running in the field by myself. Like, you can't tell me this ain't the best shit ever. Like, yo, real, showing yo, the real, sun. Like, the shrooms really, they really bring another side out. They really bring another side out of you, bro. It's like, they really going, what, how, how are you feeling in that moment? The shrooms really going to bring that out of you for mm-hmm. real. Like, I was taking up, like, I think it was like last year, beginning of last year, me and my homegirl, we was taking them like every day. Damn. I'm, I'm, go, I'm just going to our house. We just getting high, bro. Just <laughs> That's gangster. And I was going through derealization, bro, for like two months. Like, I what? didn't feel real for two months. What the... Ex- explain that. How do you not feel real? Bro, man? I'm talking... Bro, I don't know what it was. <laughs> I just woke up one day, bro, and just... I didn't just... I didn't. I just felt like shit wasn't real. I'm like, bro, this life shit not real. All this shit is fake. None of this shit matter. I don't got to do none of this shit. So, I'm just living life like life don't matter. And then, that's when I was depressed, bro. I was just going through hella shit. So, it's just like... Then after that, after I got out of that, I was like, nah, dummy, mm-hmm. it's time to lock in. Like, yeah. it's really time to lock in, bro. Like, this shit really real. Like, that shit. Them strings ain't no joke, no, bro. People be people be thinking they can just do them bitches. You no. can't just do that shit. No, bro. That 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 and weed is two different things. Mm. But if have you ever, you know, have you ever like you took the shrooms and like they weighing off, but then you smoke type shit, and then you, they feel them yes. kick up all over yes, again, bro. Oh that my shit. goodness! New Year's, I had the shrooms, the drink in me. Oh, all the type. I be man, fuck it. I be trying to get busted, bro. But when you when you at that when you at that perfect trifecta, nigga, you feel like you, you feel you just feel like a perfect gliding, like yo. I swear, everything just be it's hard to get that type of that type of high. Like you know what I mean, I wish I can get that shit every day. Yeah, bro. It's like if if a nigga could take shrooms every day, I probably would. But that shit not good. No, that shit not good. That's like that derealization. Yeah, that shit not good for you, bro. That shit <laughs> tear you up, bro. That shit. Damn, bro. That's fucked up. I w- I never took shrooms like every day. I was taking it like a weekly thing. Like yeah. I would go to Atlantic City, take shrooms type shit. That's good. That's a nice scenery too. You feel me? Like and then I be telling people like you gonna do shrooms. You gotta make sure you're not around. I mean, you gotta make sure you in a place you feel comfortable. You gotta make sure you with people you comfortable with. Don't do you that shit like, down the hill. <laughs> do not. Don't do that shit in no hood. You're cooked. Oof. You cooked. But you cooked. that shit, that shit is scary. And I feel like I, I, I never really was scared of the dark until I started yeah. taking shrooms. No, not even. But I'm still not even like. I'm scared of the shows, dark. But I be, I be wanting to see some scary shit. Like, Boy, you better stop. Bro, bro, I didn't watch some crazy movies off the shrooms, bro. Mm-mm, you now, better the funniest know. shit to watch when you high, bro, SpongeBob, bro. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. That, yo, That's Mr. a go-to. Mr. Krabs be having, <laughs> rolling, bro. Like, he just be geeking on that shit. Which, Cause, and then, like, other, like, regular TV shows, because, like, you be high shit. You really just realize, bro, these niggas are acting. Mm-hmm. So that they really cringy as shit, but it's a good ass show. It, just, it is a good. So if you had to give somebody watching this that never took shrooms before, and 
they don't know who to ask to. Give them like a, a good starter pack. Like do this, do this before you take the shrooms. All right, bro. So boom, number one, bro. Before you want to, before you even think about doing shrooms, bro. Number one, make sure you grab them from a very, what's the word I'm looking for? A very secure plug. Make sure you're not getting laced, no none of that. Mm. Because you get laced, you're cooked. You're dead. You're cooked. Also, you want to make sure you're in the right headspace, bro. Like if you're depressed or you're not, you just not feeling like yourself, bro. Don't do that shit, bro. I'm telling you, that shit will. Bring that shit out of you, bro. Literally. Man. He's like, like, I've cried real tears off shrooms, bro. That's all that's what you gotta do. Real shit. Tears of joy, sadness, like all type of shit, bro. Like all type of shit. So it's like make sure you in a good headspace. Also, like I said, make sure you with the right people. Make sure you in a com- a place that you feel comfortable. Cause if you outside or whatever, you might have an anxiety attack. Like you just around people you don't know, you just high shit, you don't know what the fuck going on. Next thing you know, so, you yeah, tripping. like and those just my three advice, bro. Like, you do that, bro, you good. As mm. long as you can do that, you good. You gonna have a nice trip, and don't don't overdo it, bro. You could take like I wouldn't even say take a three five. Take like maybe two. Yeah, fill maybe it two up. Grand. You can micro dose, bro. You ain't gotta do too much. Cause you take too much, ain't no going back. That high lasts long as shit too. Mm. Yeah, that, it do for real. Last the, whole whole seven hours. Real, you past. wake up the next morning, you still high. You be like, damn. I, and then another thing I would add on to that list is to eat before you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. you're not gonna be hungry while you're really on the type shit. Real shit. Real shit. You definitely gotta eat for sure, bro. Before you do it, cause you're gonna be fucked. That's how that's how rich homie Quant. Oh, no, that's not how that nigga died with a piece of chicken in his mouth. For real? Yeah. Damn. Shit, at least he died with some good food in his mouth. Nigga, he, like, did he swallow it? Like, did it? Was it just like a half a bite? Yeah, like fuck, you just had that bitch in his mouth, and he just like that's crazy with a chick. That's why I be telling these, but nigga, that's why I be saying, bro, like, weed really is a gateway drug, cause like you, all right, bro, you fucking with the weed, you getting high, it get to a point now, you smoking every day, you like, damn, bro, a nigga do want to feel a little something more, <laughs> real shit. Then you that's start how that shit go. With, then you be like, nah, bro, I like this shit. Let's keep going. Uh huh. The highest I've won insurance, bro. My my homegirl want me to do acid, but I'm a little scared. That acid is nothing to you fuck did it with. Too? Yeah, bro. That shit is not. No, that shit really fucked up my hearing. Like, bro. Ah. Mm, I, See, bro. I be scared, bro. I don't, but if you do the right amount, I don't know. That shit was scary as fuck. Like, I, that shit was scary. This one girl told me she said she saw the Grim Reaper, bro. What? Acid, How much did she take? Was it a white girl? No. Oh, them black girls, like, they don't be playing. Black girl, like a regular black girl, like real Ooh. shit. Ooh. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. I remember I, w- I was with her, like, we were just chilling in the car. I look over. She like, yeah, I'm texting my plug. I'm ready to get some acid. Acid? Mm. Fuck you mean? <laughs> we, we smoking weed. You talking about cop and acid? The fuck? Yeah, no, I went, I mean, I mean personally, I mean, I feel like I would have been a full bone, like, pill, because I was doing pills and lean and all that shit. And if, I mean... Like I guess as you God was looking because I I wasn't consciously I wasn't gonna stop doing that shit. Bro, shit. And the, literally God took the niggas that was that was doing it for me like they they took He took them out of my life type shit. And yeah, I, I haven't I stopped I stopped doing you, it. You them signs, bro. That shit showing you. Once you I be like, yeah, that's God. I yeah. mean, you feel me? Yeah, he did. I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't. That's, I'm just realizing that recently. You know, I didn't realize that shit at the mm-hmm. time. I was high shit. I was high as hell. But this, this is not about me. This is about the big grim. Let's talk about your collaboration, your stream with um, the girl he funny and Craig two times. You know they the bros, bro. Shout out the bros, bro. Y'all make sure y'all go get at all the social media platforms, bro. X Craig with two G's and girl he funny one X, bro. Y'all know what it is, bro. They the guys, bro. Show love. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, bro. You know the stream, like anything we do, bro. Streams, vlogs. Skits like anything we do, bro. Like we never plan shit, bro. Everything just be out the dome, bro. Cause we For just real? feed off each other Damn. energy. Like we all the same nigga, bro, in just different forms, bro. And it's like <laughs> we all from the hood, so we all got same struggles. Like mm-hmm. like that, like that. Us not having a father, shit, bro. Like we really took like niggas. You know, like some niggas be heard about. I mean, I don't really know personally about them, but like, bro, that shit ain't really nothing. Like you just gotta take that shit and make it into a joke, bro. You feel me, like. You just gotta mm-hmm. take your trauma and make lemonade out of it. Real shit, bro. So it's like that no that no father shit. Niggas don't even you feel me? Niggas be playing, bro. Like everything we do, like we can really like they the type niggas, bro. You can really say some overboard shit to them, or they they can say some shit to me. We not gonna get heard about that shit, bro. Cause mm-hmm. we know. Yeah. That's like niggas just know, bro. So it's just like yeah, bro. They really the bros though. 
Like, hey, you said you met you said you met girl he funny where yeah, I met I'm, I'm, I met girl he funny back in seventh grade bro so basically this is how that shit happened I was doing I was doing little videos and skits he was doing little videos and skits mm-hmm. we in middle school bro we like 12 13 <laughs> and I remember one day I seen somebody repost him me the type nigga I like competition I'm like who the fuck this nigga you think he funny than me fuck out of here then one day we just came ac- I just came across this page I texted him for real bro it's just been history since like we got bro we had a YouTube page back in seventh grade called 410 comedy damn Real shit. Like, we go... I feel, yeah. I feel like I heard that before. Yeah, like, niggas don't know, bro. We really go way back. Like, niggas probably really think we just... Nah, niggas really been locked in. Wow. Niggas been locked in, though. Like, niggas been locked in. Then he introduced me to Craig, bro. Niggas been locked in ever since. Like, it's like I knew niggas my whole life for real, bro. Like, it just be all the strength of the love, bro. I niggas, think niggas I think y'all, I think y'all, think y'all good. I think y'all the best trio. Bro, that... That's shit, what I I, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I be like... You know, we got a lot of famous people... From Baltimore, bro, but, like, when we talk about the heart of Baltimore, bro, like, I really want somebody to really, like, like, oh, like, Tank. Tank Tank is, like, really one of the only ones from, like, really the heart of Baltimore, bro. Hell yeah. You talking about the city, no county, like, street, Baltimore city, like, mm-hmm. that's why I really fuck with Tank, bro. He really putting on for the city. He is. Angel Reese. I mean, I don't really know. They be saying she's from Milford and shit, but like she putting on too. She though. putting on. Anybody? She, on for sure. she, she, she say she Baltimore. Going. She sound Baltimore. Yeah, really. <laughs> so she doing her thing. She. I, I just hope I never lose my accent though, bro. Because I really, not, fu- I really gonna, fuck. That shit's gonna die on you. I I I I really fuck without accent. Some people be losing their shit, bro. I really fuck without shit. Like mm. when we talk about accents, I really think we number one personally. Then <laughs> then New Orleans. Yeah, that country, Louisiana yeah, that as a whole for real. Yeah, for real. The whole South South shit. Yeah, yeah that shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I love a good Philly girl accent. Ooh. But I ain't gonna throw that at number three. I'm chill, gonna throw chill. Chicago at number three. Uh-huh. Chicago. And then I'm gonna throw Philly. And then I fuck with DC girls. They, I, I, I like the accents, too. I can't really tell. I think that that, that accent really blends in with us. Nah, I think, I think bro. It be, it, it, it be certain words they be saying, bro. I, I fuck with they shit, though. And I fuck with New York, too. Yeah. I fuck with New York. But anybody else? Oh, Memphis shit cool, too. Oh, yeah. I like Memphis. Memphis, Memphis shit mm-hmm. cool. I fuck with them. Atlanta, they just talk fast, bro. They c- country as hell. Yeah, country, they just bro. talk hell. Like, hey, you time my twin. Like, what did you just say to me, bro? Like, niggas be geeking. I don't. I can't compare. I cannot. I cannot. I was in Atlanta for like. I was just. I was on tour somewhere. I was in Atlanta for like like a week or something. And, that I was like literally felt like I was in China. Like I was like, what are y'all niggas saying? Yeah, bro. Like, what the fuck are y'all? T- it's just skinny jeans and fast words. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is y'all talking about? Like, huh? You so confused by the fucking outfit, you can't even listen to the words. Yo, no, but yo, they jeans be tight as a brick. Like what leggings, the fuck jeggings. I I didn't know what jeggings was until I went to Atlanta. Real sh- <laughs> that shit. Um, but uh, what's, you said you said you were getting your PC built. You want to start streaming yourself? Yeah, I want I want to start streaming for real, bro. Cause I be on TikTok live. And people be on the TikTok live. I probably average probably like 150, 200 viewers a stream for real. Like, you feel me? And then, like, I be doing little talent shows and shit on there. Like, all type of people. People from the UK. People from, you know, all over the world for real, bro. They just be hopping on there and showing me love, bro. And that's just, like, the TikTok lives, they really be keeping me going. Like, they don't even be understanding. I be telling them, bro. I need like, to tap in. Like, I really be fucking with them, bro. Like, them just sitting on there, just talking to me, really just make my day, bro. Like, that really be the best part of my day, bro. Just getting on. Social media just get a hell of love from people, bro. That shit really be making a nigga want to keep going, bro. And like when I and when I don't be consistent enough, that shit be it be eating me up because I be like, yeah. damn, bro, I'm I'm selling, bro. I'm not, you feel, I'm not putting on for them, bro. They want to see me drop. Like people be texting me almost every day. Get the fuck on live. Right now. <laughs> I be like, damn, all right, I got you. My fuck with the fuck. Uh, they be like, I've been waiting all day, bro. What you doing? But you're the the type of I don't know if you realize it or not, but the type of I mean, just from the outside looking in, the type of future that you have in store, the type of fan base that you're cultivating, like, that's, you can run for congressman, nigga. That's, you could be Ice Cube. Yeah, shit. <laughs> that's crazy. I be telling niggas, bro, I run for mayor, bro, real shit. We need a better one. Real. I be, yo, thank you, bro. Now, now that we on here talking about this, bro, we need a better mayor, bro. All this nigga worry about is Mervo and the fucking Ravens, bro. <laughs> this, yo, this nigga don't worry about shit. Oh, and the fucking Baltimore Inner <laughs> Harbor, like. Uh, it'll be geek- and I'm bum ass Ravens too. Y'all know what it is. Forty bum ass game. Ravens, man. You know what it is. I'm a Ravens fan. And I love the Ravens, and I have to say bum ass. I hate that shit. Hurts me. <laughs> I, I, I bet, but I have that's, to say it. That shit embarrasses me, bro. Ravens. Them niggas are. Now don't get me wrong, bro. I fuck with Lamar, shorty. Like Lamar, Lamar Baltimorean. Like he solidified. He got two MVPs. He put Lamar's a, a Baltimorean. But you mm. other niggas on that team, 
I don't know. Bateman, your bum ass. You need to get yourself together. <laughs> Ronnie Stanley, you need you need to get yourself together. Aglor, your bum ass. Tag him. Tag him in this. Your real shit. Zay, I fuck with you, Zay. Who else? Lightly use a Doug. Andrews. He injured. He 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 just got off of Andrews. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Games, let him, bro. Yeah, let him, let him. So I gotta give him a little. Let him, let him I, I gotta give right. him a little. Who else? That's it. Oh, and oh my God. Who? The most important one of them all. Who? Jonathan fucking Harbaugh. <laughs> you need to get yourself in check, buddy. You know that nigga Jonathan? Your brother. You know my guy, Jim, of course. You know that's my guy. He look way better than you right now, bro. He looks his first year back in the league. That shit crazy, bro. But I don't know, bro. He need to start abusing Derrick Henry. Like, but it's the line, bro. He can't do shit. The line not playing, so it's no, like, for real, it's nothing. It's nothing to do. Like, it's nothing you can do, bro. Like, no. the line need to get better. But my 49ers, you know, they try to take us out. You know, fucking Kittle out, Debo out, CMC out. That's three of our star players right there out. So now Purdy just got hold it on his own, and he going to. Mm. Of course, Pur- Purdy the best one in the league. If you ask me. See, I don't, I don't know that much to say. Purdy the best, the best QB in the league. Man. Is he one, the best three. QB in the league? One three, bro. Is he the best in the league? Let me know. Let he me is. know. Besides Mahomes, and so Lamar, so what's your best be looking like? My bet? I don't really be betting, bro. You don't be betting. I don't be, bro. I don't be fucking with the. I'm the type nigga, bro. When niggas be like scared money don't make no money, I'm the scared money, <laughs> bro. You never know, bro. Niggas be on some bullshit, dummy. And then it's like, bro, like the amount of times your 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 fucking your parlay a uh, miss by one leg is mm. crazy, like. Mm. That shit will really make you want to crash out. Like. I've seen them. I wish. I wish I had a video on TikTok nigga crashing out, literally screaming at the TV. Like, like I, shit, they bro. need to stop. I feel like they need to stop giving that much betting shit to niggas because somebody gonna end up putting money on KD head, bro. Like that <laughs> shit be like dumb. Like, and niggas really be dropping a bag, and then they be trying f- fake and cat on a Twitter there show you a parlay that hit nigga show some. Some shit a nigga wouldn't even think of. Like, how are you thinking of Marvin Harrison under four and a half reception? <laughs> nigga had, I don't even remember how many yards. Like, you're not assuming that, bro. No, like, what? They be lying, bro. They be trying to get niggas, bro. So, I, so since you don't bet, but you're into the football shit, I'll just call you and be like, just talk to you about the football shit, and I'll hear what you say, and I'll take that back to my betting app. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah, that. like, before niggas even bet, like, Last year when niggas really was betting, like, we'd get on group FaceTime every morning. We putting in please. What? Real shit. Get group FaceTime every morning, bro. Sun- it's Sunday. Oh, all right, boom. We putting in please. Sunday How profitable morning. was that? Huh? How profitable was that? I don't know. So- some days we hit, some days we wouldn't. And it-, it just be like, I don't know. But it's not like a nigga just putting in one parlor. Like you putting in hella slips. Mm-hmm. So just in case one don't hit, you got another. Okay, one. I feel you. But it just be like, mm, that, I feel like NFL easier to. Mm, yeah, I want to say NFL easier to bet on the NBA, bro. NBA, you would think a nigga getting twenty, <laughs> nigga hit you with eleven points. Mm. You be like, damn, this nigga still got seven points in the third quarter. What the I fuck? Hate, I hate light skinned niggas just cause of Steph Curry. Yeah, light skin, bro. Light skin niggas just light skin niggas just be thinking they better than niggas, bro. They just. <laughs> Like he thinking he like light skinned niggas, can't man. Can't stand light skinned niggas, bro. Pretty. That's why I be niggas. niggas I be. I, I'm the type of nigga uh, light skinned nigga walk down the street. I look at him like pretty ass nigga. Real shit. <laughs> Cute ass nigga. Fuck, bro. Go here somewhere. Yeah, bro. we hating. Yeah, we hating. What's up? Real shit. I'm a bro. One thing about me, anybody. I'm a hating ass nigga. Man, no, ain't real. no, ain't no shame. I, I'm a hating ass nigga. I'm a hater. I'm right a along hater. with him. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm a hating ass nigga, bro. Call it how you see it, bro. I do not care. God damn. I don't care. I what don't. what 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 do you, what do you have to say to? Because I I mean you do have a fan base that do look up to you. Right. What do you have to say to them? What do I gotta say to them? Mm, let's think, bro. What I gotta say to y'all is, bro. Y'all know what it is, bro. Y'all just keep doing y'all thing. Y'all show love. I'ma show love. We all showing love. You feel me? Keep getting money. Keep fucking niggas, bitches. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. I ain't really got too much to say because you know the shit just speak for itself. Believe in God. Aura. It's just going to speak for itself. Yes, like, it does. It does. You feel me? So they just know. like, You know what I'm saying? And I, this nigga pulled up f- like five, six minutes early. You know, I'm on time, bro. We, 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 you feel me? Come on, bro. You got we, my vote. Already. Like, I'm, bro, I'm, really, I'm really running for mayor, bro. 2027. No cat. Damn. Running for mayor, bro. No any, any got any questions for me? Do I have any questions for you? Last thing. There's nothing really important in anything. Last else. thing. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Don't think too hard. I don't want you to ask no deep shit. I ain't getting no deep shit. I ain't want to ask you no deep shit. All right, so like, 
what's a deal breaker for you, bro? Like when it comes to the women, like what's like she do something, you'd be like, oh, alright, no, I can't do it. <sighs> Fuck. Ugh. That's a tough one. <laughs> so I, I, um, maybe if if her feet dirty, if she dirty, yeah, yeah like, I don't like dirty. I'm I'm clean, like I I'm, I'm a clean nigga. Yeah, real shit. It be dirty nigga, like dirty fingers, dirty fingernails. Yo, like it's, people is dirty out here, bro. <laughs> people really trifling. That's really got to be a standard now. So yeah. that's that would be my standard, bitch. Don't be dirty. Yeah, no boy. I don't I don't like all that dirty shit, like. Like, I be watching bitches like hey, we fuck like you don't go to the bathroom and pee like uh, uh, it be little shit like that. You gonna like, wash your hands? Yeah, like all type of shit, bro. Like, I be watching all of like the craziest shit I saw. I met this bitch at a barbecue, and like yeah, let's link up tomorrow. So like the same time, like the like the tomorrow night, we linked up again. Right. This bitch smelled like barbecue, like this, yeah, like bitch, you smelled like yesterday. Oh no, nah, see, Mm-mm. see, bitches be thinking he's slick. No bitch, you stink. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> And thank God, I was just talking about this yesterday. I'm so glad I've never ran into a girl and her private area stunk, bro, because that mm. one did ass piss me off, bro. Like, yeah. I ain't never had no bitch that stunk, thank God. No, for real. That's really pew. Like, that's, that's anything, nasty. bro. Because mm. a, cause a bitch will never stink. I got, I, got, I got a girl coming over. I'm getting that shower. Bro, nigga got a girl coming over. Nigga start doing shit he never did before, bro. Nigga start cleaning out of the bed. All type of shit. <laughs> nigga got the swifter dusting the <laughs> That's yeah, another shit, coffee bro, table. Stop, bro, because when a girl comes, you got to really, she coming at, mm, this smell good, the bed made up. Oh, yeah, I'm about to fuck him. Yes, you are. Most of the time, a girl can, a girl will make her mind up if she fucking you or not on the first two seconds when she walk Yo, in I'm, bro, I'm telling you. And another thing, too, bro, we grown everybody, so stop making people wait just because you don't want to seem like a hoe. Oh, my goodness. Like, you feel me? Like, a girl who did ass want you to take her on a date just for her to come back to your house just for you to fuck her. Like what? You want me to take you on a date just so you did just so you just so I can't say, Oh yeah, I fucked her. I, I had real. to take you on a date before I fucked her. It's the same shit. Like, bitch, I cook. You f- <laughs> and that's the problem, bro. Men can cook better than the women these days. That's the no, problem. No, men be wanting to cook. Yeah. You know I mean, mean that's true, but these women can't cook. It's yeah, they sad. can't, they can't. Like that shit be sad, bro. Like that's why whenever I go to my mother, grandmother's house, I be happy as shit, bro. Mm. I, I forgot what a home homemade fucking. That's a, that's that's the last generation of a perfect Yo, women. Really? Cause when they cook, it's some pain inside that, mm. food, bro. Like you you feel everything they didn't went through the last thirty mm. years. You be like, oh shit, what the? That's why her husband was beating. Okay, that's why her husband was beating him. Damn, Yo, what the fuck, nigga. That shit be too good, bro. That food, like. Can, bro, my grandmother food like when people ask me who the best chef, my grandmother. No, for real, all people, my grandmother. She like, she was putting water in her ketchup to the day she died. See, she ain't even living in the trenches no more. It, it 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 just be bro. You can take them out the trenches, bro. But you can't take the trench out of them. Like my grandmother still be doing it. She, I remember, I'm looking for the sugar. I'm like, grandma, what the sugar? She like, oh, it's in the chitlins uh container. Oh, the chitlins. <laughs> the fuck. Hey, Grandma, stop yeah. playing with me. Like, what the hell? I'm yo, like, what? Yo, she, she's something else. Yo. I love my grandma, though. Yo. She's something else, bro. I told, I, I got to, like, one thing about me, I'm really a, I'm really a grandma's boy. Like, I, mm-hmm. I call my grandma, but she called me every day, mm-hmm. every single day. Like, I, like me and my grandma were really best friends. Like, my, grand, my grandma and my niece, bro, they really my favorite people in the world. Like, they really my best friends, bro. Like, my mm-hmm. grand, I tell my grandma, like, everything, everything. You got to, bro. You got to, bro. That's good. Like, ain't nothing really like grandmother and mother love, bro. Like that shit. Really, nothing is like it. That shit different. Like that shit really different, bro. That that shit make you not want to settle for less when you get with a woman, bro. And it ain't even on that tip like you want a mother and a woman, but it's like, damn, bro. Like I know what it's like to be loved, bro. So I'm not ready to tolerate no bullshit. That bullshit ass TikTok love. Yeah, like, bitch. Don't text me no good morning emojis. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, don't like that. Yeah, I, bro, I, I don't like emojis at all, oh, bro. Take, like, uh, I use laughing emojis, of course, like yeah. shit like that. But I don't like like all I have in emojis is contact names, like all mm, type. Yeah, of shit, that bro. shit wet. Like niggas just get to a certain point. That shit was cool back then, bro. That's another. That's another. That's another red flag right there. If a bitch texting me like like an eggplant emoji, like bitch, you text me an eggplant emoji. Yeah, like nah, I'm not fucking. You. <laughs> like, like what are we doing here? Like, I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not fucking. You. It's bro, it's a whole bunch of red flags and bitches. Like it'd be like, 
Like if I see a girl, like if I'm texting a girl and I get the vibe that she been a little too annoying already, that's a red flag for me, bro. Cause mm. I ain't even fuck you yet. I ain't even link you yet, and you already been this annoying. Yeah, I can see how this about to go. We not about to do this. Hey, Amen. Till you start, start cut that shit dead before it's too late. And it's a message to the fellas out there, bro. Like. Y'all niggas don't want no relationship with these bitches, but y'all keep fucking them over and over and over. Fellas, fuck them once or twice. That's it. That's all. No you prayer. getting them comfortable, bro. You fucking her six, seven times. Now she posts you calling her, calling you her man. Now you uh, mad. That's now you, you bro. in too deep. Right? In too deep. You in too deep, You really be got to tell A nigga can fuck the same pussy for 40 years straight. Like, and I have no problems. Like, real shit. You really gotta tell a nigga, like, real shit. How many times the fuck is a good time to be like, ah, like, you been in the line? Me, bro, the type nigga I am, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I told you, bro, like, I really like to do, like, maximum twice, maybe three. But it be like, bro, it's just, especially if I know I wanna be in a relationship, bro, I don't be wanting to get it, get too above ahead of ourselves. Like mm. you, I know I don't want to be in a relationship with you, so I'm not even gonna give you that vibe that I want to. But I am gonna fuck the shit out with you for sure. But I'm not gonna hell no. Shout out to all them hoes out there, man. Okay. No shout out to the Gleeks. Shout out, shout out to the women that fucked and ducked niggas. I got fucked and ducked before. I wasn't even mad. You got a what? I got fucked and ducked. Fucked and ducked. Oh yeah, yeah I've been yeah yeah. That's... It's just I wasn't even mad. It was just nigga like, hit me with the. She like. Cause my man's that was his home girl for real. Mm-hmm. She was like, he was like, yeah, bro. She only fucked niggas twice and never talked to him again. Damn. Damn. So like, what we did just didn't mean nothing. That's better than me. It, it's crazy because I seen a post. It was like, damn, bro, having good dick used to mean something. That shit don't mean nothing to these women now. Ooh. No bullshit. These women, are demon. he be like, damn, I just fucked the shit. That shit don't mean nothing. No good morning. No, damn, that shit be crazy, bro. That shit be hurtful. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's too much sexy red, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it's sexy, very, bro. She just got. It was sneaky T at first, but like, ooh, sneaky T. It, it, it was sneaky T, but like, they couldn't really do that. Well, my generation or like the girls my age, because they was younger for yeah. real, so they weren't really popping it. Whoa, shit, they they were still popping. Yeah, it, I would say it's some girls, it's some khakis. girls, bro. They been free since we was in eighth grade, bro. So and I can't even say that, but. Now, sexy red just got the sexy red glow real mm. lotto. Like they just got the women like. You feel they don't, give a fuck. they don't need a nigga. Yeah, I can fuck you. Then what? They don't care, bro. That's why. That's that's why. That's why I got. I got my girl. I'm. I'm keeping them like goddamn in the, in, the, in the under a rock. Like yeah. she, she be playing that shit. I'm like, all right, you play two yeah, songs. Two, back yeah, to two, back. yeah, too much. All right, you one song minimum an hour. I'm like, bitch, cut off some Luther Vandross. <laughs> Real, whatever that is. Yeah, listen to some Luther Vandross. Real shit. Thank me later. Need, need to listen to some some real shit. Some Osley real Brothers. Not no whole shit. That's. What's, what should people take away from this? Since we about to close this, wrap this up. What should people take away from this? All I'm going to say is, bro, whatever you're doing, bro, it's not over. Don't think your life is over because one bad thing happened to you, bro. Just keep God in your life. Keep praying, bro. And don't just pray whenever you want something, bro. Actually talk to God. Like, you actually want to build a relationship with him, bro. Actually talk to God, bro, because he's listening to you, bro. So just talk to God. You know, keep God in your life. Always stay positive, bro. Just try to keep a positive. That's what I've been working on. Just trying to keep a positive attitude all the time. Cause I don't like being grumpy and miserable. All the time. That shit don't feel good. Bro. Don't feel good. Like, that make your shit, shit don't hurt. Feel good. So make just keep hurt. a positive attitude, bro. Keep guarding your life, bro, and just keep working hard, bro. Everything gonna pay off eventually. I'm telling you. It's that simple. It's that really simple. that simple. That simple. I don't got nothing to say. Uh... Yeah, y'all know. Uh, get at me on all social media platforms. Biggest Grim on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, OnlyFans. You better not be slinging eating ass on OnlyFans, dummy. No, not yet. I ain't posting no content yet. My my name actually used to be Chop Drop Seventeen. But I, but I wouldn't I wouldn't have followed you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I cannot follow this nigga. Like I cannot follow a nigga named Chocolate Drop. Man, I I I, I think the ladies would have loved the content I would have put out. I'm probably ready to start honestly. Bruh, keep that shit. Don't do that shit. You can't do that shit up in here. <laughs> do that shit out there. Do that shit out there. Um, but this is this has been another show. This has been another banger. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Tune in for next week for another banger episode. And goodbye. <laughs>